welcome back to Zed Pokemon Emerald. Yeah. It's the time again, guys. Sorry that I haven't uploaded for like two days, I believe. It might be three days by the time this video gets uploaded. Um, partially it's because I just didn't upload. Other reason why is the internet. Um, right now, as we speak, um, I only have one bar of internet out of five bars, so very inconsistent to say the least. Um, so um, I'm gonna hope that you no, know, I can, you know, obviously I can upload, hopefully, and um, yeah. So I, I'm not that, I'm not like afraid that the video won't be able to go up, but I'm more, more along the lines of just being able to consistently upload that. I, I don't know. It's not even a big worry. I'm kind of just saying it. Um, just throw it up in the air. But anyways, today on Pokemon Emerald, this is Route 119. Um, I apologize in the last episode since I said we're actually going to continue on Route 118, but we're actually going to actually going to change this route on 119. So, yes. All right. So as you notice, the grass is abnormally tall on this route. Um, yeah, and the wild Pokemon here are impeccably high, if that makes sense. Look at that. Lay Noon, level 25, guys. So it's a huge step up from from um, the last wild Pokemon encounters. <sighs> and Lay Noon is actually the evolution of... Um, What's its face? Zigzagoon. So, yeah, we actually have some pre, I mean, final evolutions in this grass. So, very, very, very strong um, wild grass. Or wild Pokemon grass. Yeah, by the way, you cannot run in the wild grass, and you can also not bike in it. Like, you can literally not bike. So, yeah. I'm not going to get into whole depth about this. Just Okay, this guy basically tells you that you cannot ride your bike in here just in case you're playing alone and you have no one like me to tell you that you cannot, so. <laughs> yeah, alright. Um, today, we're actually going to, yeah, again, explore on this route. Um, basically what I want to talk about is, I've been pondering this, and, um, Again, I mean, this is just, you know, this is me thinking, okay? It's not an actual... It's not like, um... An actual... I'm not, like, declaring this, okay? So to say... And, okay, bug catcher, great. This is Frida's time to annihilate. Oh, wait, it's I'm still paralyzed, alright. Okay, we're gonna heal Frida. <laughs> alright, but back to what I was actually gonna talk about, okay? Basically, what... Oh, we need to heal. Okay, after this fight. Okay. Um. Right. I always forget what I'm always. I always forget what I'm going to talk about. Okay. Um. I've been thinking about a lot of games I want to do, and it's not that I don't want to do them. It's more along the lines of upload schedule. Now, I you know back when I did Ash Gray, um, I I did a very good job. At least I think so. Um. Of you know, just alternating the games, like putting it through a really good schedule. Like Ash Gray went, you know, Ash Gray Wednesday, Minecraft S and P Thursday, and then Pokemon Emerald Friday. And I, I'm not like actually quoting off the real schedule. I'm just saying, just an example. It was very, you know, it's like very um. Oh snap! <laughs> Stupid wing. All right, but it was very organized. All right, and. Giganium. Alright. Um, it was very, um. Crap, where am I die? It was. Oh. Why don't we stay in? Okay. I really need to stop getting off topic. Okay. Why I, um. What was. It? Just a second. Let me just re. Let me just re, um. Let me just re, um gain my words what I was gonna actually say okay there we go okay what I wanted to say was I've been very compelled to do a let's play because I you know it's the upload schedule has been very fine for me um, at least from past history of Ash Gray 
But the reason why I want to make a new Let's Play is um, because I want to do something, something different now. Because, you know, I'm not quitting Emerald. You know, Emerald is a series that I really want to do. But the only problem with doing Emerald, or one Let's Play in general, is that sometimes you want to do something else on your channel. And I'm doing Minecraft, and yes, okay. But a different Let's Play. And, um, however, with the problem with this, this makes this Emerald... I'm planning on getting Emerald done by October. Before October, I should say. Um, I'm gonna hope by then it's done. If it's not, I'll be very surprised. In fact, maybe even mid-September is when it'll finish, you know, because we're, 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 re re ugh, we're, <laughs> we're relatively close to the end of the game. Um, well, not relatively close, but you, you, you know, you, you, you know what I mean. Halfway there, I guess. But anyways, so, it's not, I'm not saying that I'm not going to do too, well, I'm not saying that I want to do another Let's Play because Emerald's getting boring. But I'm saying it because doing one Let's Play is boring. Does that, do you guys understand that? And I'm not saying this because I want, like, I'm going to do another Let's Play. But I'm kind of having this conflict on whether or not should I do another Let's Play. And I already have a game planned out. And it'll be the game I'm going to do for my next Let's Play regardless of whether I'm not, I'm, uh, whether or not I am actually going to do it corresponding with Emerald. Or I'm actually going to save um, hold it off until after Emerald is actually finished. So I honestly don't know at this point, and um, I don't even know why I'm talking about this and kind of just letting rumors fly. Although you know I don't really have a huge fan base, it's not like rumors are gonna be all over. But <laughs> it's just um, ultimately what I kind of just want to get the point across here is um, it, it, don't be surprised if you see another Let's Play coming while Emerald is still up, and, um, yeah, so just, you know, guys, stay in touch, you know, this isn't a huge, it's not like anything big's happening, you know, just stay in touch, and, and things will happen, alright, the chips fall where they may, and, um, and yeah, so, there's nothing really else I have to say about it, just let the chips fall where they may, alright. Super Repel, thank you, Game Freak, for um, implementing there in that convenient, convenient location. I'm having trouble speaking today. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, there's something special about this place. I remember. Is this the place? I think this is the place where you can catch the fee bass. Yeah, on this, on this specific pond, you can catch a fee bass. They're very rare. Like, I believe there's only one tile. Like, by tile, I mean, like, uh... If this was Minecraft, I would say a block. Or a chunk, but... Uh, like, a, you know, pixelated games have things called chunks. And on every chunk... Like, on one chunk in that pond, I believe there's a fee bass. Don't quote me on this. I don't even know if this is even right. I just heard this before. And... Every 1%. There's like one percent chance on that chunk you'll find a fee bass or something. It's it's astronomically high, high of a um, astrono astronomically low of a chance you're gonna get one. And um, fee bass is by far one of my least favorite Pokemon of all time. Well, not like number one, but obviously on the list. Um, I might do a video on that later on for my channel, so I'm not going to totally bum up the list. But yeah, so fee bass again is very rare, but you know I'm. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'm not even going to waste this episode on describing what Feebas is and stuff. Just just look it up on Cerebi or Bulbapedia or any Pokemon encyclopedia. Alright, in here, this is a very interesting house. It's full of wingles. So, let's talk to her. I heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People rumor that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Could, it, could something like that really happen? I don't know. Read the book to find out. That's what I always say. That's my philosophy. Alright, um, this is, by the way, one of my favorite routes of Pokemon all time, because it's so, um, it's so scenic, and, you know, a lot of times when you see, <laughs> a lot of times you see these Pokemon games, they aren't so scenic. So, yeah, you know, look, it's, it's, you know, the cool waterfalls kicking it, and, you know, the nice, the nice four-foot trees, some berry plants over there, which we, 
Might as well get after this trainer. Oh, look at you. For someone on an adventure, you're traveling awfully light. No, we have the freaking the blob on our backs. Um, I don't know what you think this light is, but that's one huge gap of light. Yeah, I, don't, I was trying to say some joke and smart alky remark, but I guess it didn't really turn out well. Oh, I, I don't like looms. They're ugly. They're they just scare me because they I know they have a stats effect like it just uses parallel um, stun spore on me I believe. Flame! No. Yes. Ember. <laughs> Sorry guys, I kind of overreacted, but I almost sped through that and could have almost deleted that. And if it gave up on flamethrower, I would literally kick Frida off the team. No, I wouldn't go that far, but it would be water gun all over again, to be honest with you. Just this time I wouldn't be forgetting to move, I would be tossing up on learning a move. Do you have a Poke- Everyone has a Poke Nav. It's like the iPhone whatever. I'm not- I hate- I hate Apple. I'm sorry. Like, I respect, um, what they did. Like, Steve Jobs and stuff. Like, I respect them, obviously. I'm not- I'm not like a- I'm not just one of those people who hate just because. But I don't like how they price things. I don't like how- they're kind of cheap. Like, for example, if you lose a charger or something, because our school let us have iPod, iPads once and I lost the charger and I ended up not giving it back. Shh. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel so bad. All right. Um, they, um, at the Apple store, it's like 25 bucks or something. Or, or you could just get one on Amazon for like five bucks. So, I mean, I'm not blaming Apple because many stores do that, including Windows. So I'm not, I'm not just singling Apple out. I kind of am, but... Um, Okay, let's just do this. This is a quick puzzle. Not puzzle. How do we do this? How do we do this? Um, you know what? Let's pass on that. I don't remember. Oh, you need the mock bike. I mean, excuse me, the acro bike to do that. Which we have, we're carrying the mock bike. Yeah, for this part of the game, the acro bike's pretty useful to get items. Especially on this route, I, if I remember. So, you know, we might come back with the Acrobite later on to uh, re-get those items. To retrieve those items. Alright. Boy Scout guy. Anyway, so yeah. Um, so yeah, Apple is just, you know, they charge a lot. And, um, like a lot of companies do. Like Nintendo does. And any big company. So, and I, I don't know. And Apple... But when it comes to computers, Apple overprices things like um, like you could get a you could get a really good gaming computer, like by far one of the best gaming computers out there, and by by Windows like a um, with with a Windows in it with the window. Oh my God, what am I trying to say? With a Windows implemented in it, and it'll only cost like. When I see, when I mean great gaming computer, I mean something that could get you 150 FPS or something, and like a i7 processor. What? I'm not a huge computer guy when it comes to computer specs, but basically, what I'm trying to get across here is, and then an Apple desktop computer, and obviously, you know, I don't know the whole specs of those Apple computers, but. And they're expensive. They're like two thousand bucks, especially a laptop, an i Mac, iBook, 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 MacBook, MacBook. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Anyways, today. What? Today? Oh my God. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit disoriented. No, I haven't been drinking. It just. Yeah. <laughs> okay. By the way, I applied to go on a server. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I'm not gonna name which server, but um, I applied. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna accept it or not. I hopefully I can since I really want to start uploading Minecraft. Minecraft's fun, don't get me wrong, on single player and stuff, but it's a whole it's a whole different level of funness to play on a multiplayer server. And unfortunately, I never actually said this in a video, but I've said this on my channel and a few videos. Um, that that on um, the server closed that I did t 
I'm still got one hit KO'd. Oh, quad, quad weak to um, flying. Should have known. Um, I think we're gonna put Sir Sticky in there, just for the heck of it. I kind of want him to get some his first battle experience. And now that that swallows out, I'm pretty confident that we can that um, Sir Sticky can just um, fight. Um, oh, confused. Yes, some experience. Okay. Yes, I really want to confuse Ray on this. Um, Sir Sticky, I never actually mentioned this, but Sir Sticky is supposed to be my annoying Pokemon. Um, and I think we're going to forget... Yeah, I think we're going to forget Ingrain. Um, Ingrain's an okay move, I can see why, but... I'd much rather have Leech Seed on this thing, and... I don't think Sir Sticky can learn that. Boy, I think it can. Yeah, I can. I don't think, I don't know. I've never used the, a Lily before, so I can't really quote and say any information, so. All right, um, yeah, so, sure Sticky now is Confuse Ray, which will be very useful since that's what, that's one of the final moves I want on Sir Sticky that's planned out. Hyper Potion, all right. Hyper Potion, restore 200 HP, so crap load of HP, basically a full restore at this point in the game, all right. This is one of these flying guys. That, yep, it's a flying guy. Some sky pun. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> Tropius will stand. Tropius is one of my favorite Pokemon. Although I didn't put on my favorite Pokemon of all time, but Tropius? I've used one before, um, ironically in Platinum, since you know it appeared that I wouldn't use a freaking Tropius in freaking Sinnoh League, but the point is, um, <laughs> That Tropius is a very unique Pokemon, but you know, again, I don't want to get into whole depth on the scene, but anyways. The Weather Institute. Yes, guys, it's a case game, and they're gonna go all Weather Institute on us. Drop your game, boys, let's leave. I'm just kidding, guys. I like weather. It's very. It's always unpredictable, and you know, I like unpredictable things. Except my uploads. <laughs> Ooh, I just burned myself. Alright. Speaking of burn, if you are burnt, talk to this little girl right here. Or go to this bed right here. Oops. And you'll be healed. Okay, nope. Nope. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright. Um, and there's also a PC here that you can access to your Pokemon, so very useful. Um... And if you haven't noticed yet, this place is basically um, in infested by Team Aqua. Alright, Team Aqua really likes infesting things, buildings. Like we saw it in Slateport City. Alright, now let's talk to her. Huh? What's a kid doing here? Well, should I ask the same to you? What's a Team Aqua doing here, okay? Wait, she has... Is that... Red? I'm just gonna say red. It looks orange. It is. Ah, whatever. It's red. She has red hair. She had pink in her sprite. Eh, whatever. She still has a crappy Carvana. Yeah, I don't like Carvana. Carvana has always been one of my least favorite Pokemon. Like, it's not on my all-time least favorite, but it just I don't like it because I don't like piranhas. To be honest with you. Yeah, I don't think anyone likes piranhas for that matter. What do you have to say? Oh no, I'll catch an, an ear, I'll catch an earful for losing to a kid. I should just take a nap in the bed. Yeah, I just took a nap there, and you may have to double check the sheets. There could be some um, pee on there because I have very sensitive wetness in bed when I notice Team Aqua. Because then I think of Aqua like water, and then bam, you know, I just think of fluids. And then out it goes, and yeah, so, you know, maybe some of it got onto Mr. Mud, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Alright, let's go to Mr. Mud, because <laughs> Mr. Mud's been, oh, snap, why did I use that on Seabat? Alright, um, Poochiana, let's just go back to Toadstool. Yeah, so, um, yeah, oh, come on, Toadstool, don't do this. I could've just used Mach Punch and that probably could've one hit KO'd. Our boss knows everything, but I'm just a grunt. <laughs> I'm just a grunt. What do I know about what he's thinking? 
Oh, well, then maybe you should have applied if you're going to undermine yourself like that. Come on. These guys are so negative. They're so pessimistic. They're so mean. They're, I'm just a grunt. See, that's why you don't join an evil team, okay? They're just going to brainwash you with propaganda that downgrades yourself. <laughs> I don't even know. Don't tell me... Don't tell me you're looking for that weather Pokemon too. <gasps> for Shadowmint. That's a no-no. <laughs> we we were here to get it first. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. weather Pokemon. Hey, look, they're holding hands. All right, that's cute. Puchiana and Zubat. Okay. Um, crap. We don't really have anything that's good against flying types, to be honest with you. We do have um. No, we don't have any. Do we have anything? No, Cradley, excuse me, Leap is a rock type. However, we don't have we don't actually have any rock type moves equipped to Mr. Lilip. So, let's just use Mach Punch on you. Body Slam on you, and that should do the trick. I don't think a Zubat can survive a Body Slam. Okay, that's good. Come on, Zubat, don't do this to us. I thought he killed it. I thank you, Zubat. Puchiana, Puchiana, Puchiana. But why is Toad still so low? I need to heal that. I need to heal that guy. All right. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Mud, come on, don't do that. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Anyways, okay. I think we're gonna actually lead. My voice just cracked. That's that's fantastic. That's very sexy. Alright, I think we're actually gonna go. Oh, the vanilla is an item for us. We're candy. Repel. Oh, well. Thank you, Mr. Mud. I appreciate the vanilla. I appreciate that act of kindness. Who should we go to? Um. Wow, everyone's almost level 30 except the blob. And Sir Sticky, who. It's a piece of shit either way. I mean, it. it I'm sorry that that was kind of harsh, but. It sucks. I mean, it's it's terrible. <laughs> it doesn't even have any good move yet. So, you know, trust me, guys. It'll pay off. All right, I bet you guys are looking at me like, wow, you totally screwed this up. You got a stupid little leap. <laughs> you can't do crap. You're right. Until until you see the final the final product, all right? Ah, Zubat, yeah, which is the blobs basically are Zubat killer guy. Yeah. The blob has been paralyzing a lot of Pokemon, to be quite honest with y'all. Alright. You got me. Indeed. Alright. Um, hmm. Okay. As you notice, there's a girl pink here. However, there's something else. She's actually a boss. Well, an admin. Alright, she's the admin on the server. She can kick you off any point in time. No, not that admin. She's an admin. And I like, they could have gave her a much more distinctive look than just the generic grunt, the girl grunt, or the female grunt. I, I want to act like a gentleman here, because this is very prestigious. Um, so, like, I wouldn't say that uh, she's hard, but I would just take some precautions, save the game. We're not, because I don't want to save. It looks unprofessional. <laughs> Alright, and you can tell she, she sounds really old, like, I'll down you, kitty. Yeah, so she has really long red hair, so she's clearly a viking. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Alright, so she's gonna leave with the Carvana. As you notice, her Pokemon are slightly higher than those of her, um, acquaintances or colleagues or whatever. Alright, so Mighty Anna. Oh, we should have actually, I meant to switch. Yeah, so this is our stronger Pokemon, so strongest Pokemon, and she has the Intimidate ability, which cuts your attack stat in half, so it clearly, um, clearly, um, exposes its opponents that use, um, Fighting-type moves, since Fighting-type moves are all physical, except Focus Blast, which we don't want to get into, since I don't even think it's in this generation. Oh, yes it is, alright. Wait, why are we using Body Slam if we use Intimidate? Friggin' Derp, derp, derp. Alright. Oh, oh, thank god. I, I Swagger's a very annoying move. 
Let's just use body slam. Let's slam it one more time for the heck of it. Alright, so the blob single single handedly beat um red haired Viking. Sir Sticky, Sir Sticky Gorilla 30, alright. Nope, you're not gonna learn any move. I think I might just look up at some research about um Lily to see if it actually learns some moves, but whatever. It's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you. What makes you want to sniff around in our business anyways? Cause I want the weather Pokemon. We have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed for Mount Py Pyre. Pyre. It's not Pyre, it's Pyre, I believe. What? We can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre too. Ahaha, ah, ah. Team Magma, just you wait. Thanks. Thanks to you, we're safe. It might be an odd way of thanking you, but take this Pokemon. She received receive cast form. Do you want to give a nickname to this cast form? Cast form's a very unique Pokemon. Cast form... <sighs> cast form changes when the weather changes. And that's not some weird, funny, stupid cliche. This is actually real. If you have a thing called... If you actually use Sunny Day, for example... Um, sunny Day basically makes it sunny, it ups the fire type moves. I'm not going to get into the whole thing of it, like the whole stats of it, but... Castform will turn into a fire type Pokemon, along with some fire type moves, I believe. I've never used a Castform. Don't use this thing, it's terrible stats, terrible Pokemon. Ugh, it's one of the weakest Pokemon, it's one of the riskiest Pokemon, just don't use one. If you want to challenge yourself, use one. Um, I was thinking about using one, believe it or not, but I figured that would be too overboard. I kind of want to go with the unique team here, but I think that was a little bit too overboard, like I just said. Um, if you use um, Rain Dance, it'll transform into a water type Pokemon. It has some water type moves. And um, what else is there? Sandstorm, I believe it turns into a crown type. You guys are going to have to look this up. I honestly don't know like the whole details about it. All I know is I've used Sunny Day and Rain Dance. will It'll turn into a water and fire type. I don't know about Sandstorm though. It might. But we're going to name this thing. Poop. Yeah. Childish name, but whatever. I honestly don't care about it. It's never going to see the bread of the day again. It's probably going to transform into a dark type Pokemon because it's only going to see the darkness on my box, but. Yeah. Alright. Oh, by the way, I have to imagine these kind of look like the bookshelves from Minecraft. It ju I just got reminded from that. Don't look directly at it, but look at like this desk, and then notice this in the background, and you'll, it'll look like a bookshelf from Minecraft. Trust me, it will. <laughs> Trust me, it will. Okay. Okay, we're starting to quickly heal. I'm just about to take a rest. Why not? It's a free country. A free region. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's leave. But before you leave, let's talk to this girl. Now let's talk to her. Wow, you're really strong. I wish I could be a Pokemon trainer like you. Yes, we get some popularity points from a 10 year old. 10 year old? 2 year old girl, maybe? Anyways, in the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, that will matter because we're actually going to continue on. Leave this Weather Institute, a very unique Weather Institute. I like where it is located, to be honest with you. And we'll continue, and actually, we'll actually, I always, I have a habit of saying actually, we're actually, mm. anyways, we'll continue, so, hold your horses, and stay tuned.